What is up, Tokusatsu fans? Rick and Wilkes Autism Productions here. That's why R W A P. Rick and Wilkes 54 here. That's why. And Happy National Power Rangers Day, everyone! Happy 30 years of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which premiered on Fox Kids back in August 28, 1993, which there was a a pilot episode before the series began. Which there was a trailer, also known as called Galaxy Ranger, and a 1986 unaired pilot episode was did created by Hayam Saban, was starting to create Bioman based on Chojenji Bioman. So that I did heard a lot about him, like when he started creating Power Rangers franchise, the one that started that helps by the original Japanese Tokusatsu series Super Sentai, which helped with. The 16th season, Kyoku Sentai Zoo Ranger, also referred as Dinosaur Squadron Zoo Ranger. So today we'll be start reviewing the first season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which based on of Kyoku Sentai Zoo Ranger with great storytellings, which different years all the evil has slept and spent after the years are free to to take over Earth before. Five warriors or five teenagers with attitudes to save the world, which took place in different worlds like Japan or Angel Grove. So, anyways, let's start with a review of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1. The 10,000 years of imprisonment, the evil sorceress Rita Raposa and her loyal minions are free when astronauts on a routine mission and a space accidentally opened her dumpster prison on the moon. Filled with rage, Rita decides to conquer the nearest planet, Earth. But her arch nemesis, the heroic sage Thordon, has been patiently waiting in preparation for this day. With the assistance of his wisecracking robotic sidekick, Alpha 5, Thordon recruits a team of five teenagers with attitudes. Jason, Zack, Kimberly, Billy, and Trini to receive superpowers beyond their wildest dreams so they can defend the Earth as Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, aided by the giant robotic vehicles modeled after dinosaurs called Zord. The Power Rangers fight back against the evil alien horde of Rita Posa. Contains all 60 episodes of the first season, with also included more like their own exclusive original Power Rangers monsters too as well, sometimes which they did include it with the original Japanese monsters with the footage, fighting, and megasaurs. And to say I have first time watched Power Rangers back then was my 100%ly childhood with the original and the OG Rangers and love the teen colored superheroes as well. They always feature the Red Ranger, Black Ranger, Blue Ranger, Yellow Ranger, Pink Ranger, and the Green Ranger is Tommy Oliver. Two, they're all teenagers who lived in Angel Grove. As I mean, Angel Grove is the best place. Like it kind of reminded me of like, is why it's called Angel Grove. It's like a high school, too. And two bullies named Bulk and Skull. They always trolled and like to bully people so much. And, and that's where the part where Rita takes over Earth and five teenagers were sent by Zordon in the command center. I mean, Command Center is the best place. I mean, the one that I have first time watched Mighty Morphin on VHS, what I didn't know was, like, am I watching this? Like, it's really cool in the best 90s show. I thought it was, like, started releasing in the 2000s. When I thought, when I was a little kid. And, like, I love all, like, the episodes, like, to begin with. The beginning of the Power Rangers and... The one that started with all the fighting scenes, the monsters, Megasword. So yeah, that's because the, the Mighty Morphin Megasword did appear in episode 1, Day of a Dumpster. But it's before the episodes later with the Rangers Mecha that the the Red Ranger Megasword, Megasword did appear in the episode 2 revival. Before more episodes later did appear in episode 4 that, that did use. Because I have watched Zoo Ranger, because I love Super Sentai, Kobe Sentai Zoo Ranger, because I finished watching it, so... It was like, after I watched some of the episodes of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and... 
You know how most of the greatest DVD quality was licensed by Shout Factory? Because I really loved the theme song of Go Go Power Rangers, and yeah, and they say like Go Go Power Rangers. Like I love keep hearing Go Go Power Rangers. I mean the theme song was by Ross Weatherman, and yeah, the greatest action scenes and fight scenes that took exclusive original Power Rangers scenes and using original Japanese footage to like voiceover and dubbing the voice, like the monsters and Bandora's voice as well. I know their names are different for the monsters and like the color rangers too as well. And they have like the dragon sword and the ultra sword that they could combine together with Jason, Zack, Billy, Trini, Kimberly, and Tommy to save the world. I mean, Tommy did appear in episode 7 and all the episodes later too, like all the continuation with the green with evil parts too, like all the continuations going on in any series and and I know there's like some scene exclusive for like the shows like the armor for the Green Ranger were American fan made for the armor which was not used in the original Japanese because it was used from the original Japanese before it was like almost later than was used in Super Mega Force Final Battle 2 and yeah so yeah because I watched 37 episodes so I will continue on for more Season 1, so that's why I'm starting the review of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1. And yeah, so... Yeah, because the first season was a really a OG ghost before more seasons come. Part of the Sword on era. I mean, that's why it is part of the 90s. That's how I love Power Rangers. This is why I love Power Rangers and why I love Super Sentai. I mean, the, like I tell you about why I love Super Sentai is when I watch the scene like all the Red Rangers from Hakuchu Sentai Gal Ranger vs. Super Sentai movie with all the Red Ranger roll calls. When I didn't know about Super Sentai was when when I was a little kid uh, I thought some of the words are Chinese because it was Japanese. Because when I thought if they were speaking English and Super Sentai as well. So yeah, I mean that's just all what I didn't know about. Yep, this, this is because Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is my favorite show of all time, like alongside with classic DuckTales, Spider-Man the Animated Series, VeggieTales, and Batman the Animated Series. So yeah, that's all that include that's what I know about. Yeah, because Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is a, has made a greatest hit including like Toy figures franchise, the video games for Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and the Game Boy. Because I did watch some of the gameplays of the games on the old YouTube version that was late 2000s. When I was still interested with Annoying Orange as well too. So yeah, so... Yeah. That's why I like to know about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1. Like, sometimes a bit with Zoo Rangers shows with footage as well. So yeah, I mean, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1 is always the greatest hit of all time. And always love how they included more extra episodes, like after, like, using original Japanese show footage with including more episodes. And, and all the graphics and the editing in original Japanese episodes, like using, like, their own USA effect, like, for the 90s by Ham Savan. Which also like including more powers for the Power Rangers and Green Rangers Fireball Attack, I guess, or or like Mega Sword effects too as well. And I did remember like for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers season one did brought back was premiered in 2010 back in January by Disney's ABC Family as known as as Mighty Morphin Power Rangers season one reversion. With a different version, like the comic book style, like, you know, like I did remember like a toy figure of the 2010th version that was, didn't made in 
by Bandai in 2009, like after RPM was finished with the final episode before they went on a hiatus before Samurai, like after season one had been reversioned. So yeah, I mean that's just all I love to say about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers season one. All the greatest franchise that did always had a greatest hit for 30 years of uh, Power Rangers. And that's all I wanted to say. And I did remember when I watched the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie from that did I did first time watch in that was from 1995. Which I mean I did watch two episodes back in the VHS with the Day of the Dumpster and the other episode that was from the season two with a baboon. I did talk about in the Die Ranger review. So yeah, though. So, if you guys know, hit the like, favorite, comments down below, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications, and then, happy National Power Rangers Day, everyone. And then I'll see y'all later for Koyu Sentai Zoo Ranger Review, the one that helped adapt the Power Rangers, the one that started from all from original Japanese Super Sentai franchise. So yeah, I'll continue on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers first season, and peace! Also, it's Morphin time. What you need, I, I got it